what's up guys this is the brave woman and i am back to bring you to the next episode of my empire dead war let's play as the united states of america and in this episode uh horatio dennett is going to attempt to try and defend uh, our territory here in hungary against a large austrian force they do have a 24 pounders they will eventually make a breach but uh many many uh, units will have to be um destroyed first we've got an army heavily comprised of african native infantry whose melee stats leave something to be desired so i believe it'll be up to the howitzers to do a lot of heavy lifting um unless one second apologies for that um unless i form my own breach form my own breach and then um keep trying to lure the enemy into it i think that's probably a good thing to do because usually if you've got a breach the AI will just keep going for it and because they have not very much artillery we will have to make our own so let's get ready if we set up a breach we can we might be able to defend the city raining which is a bummer okay so let's remember what direction we are facing so we're facing this way so we want to make our breach here really Ah, oh, this is ideal. Perfect. Okay. So in this case, we are going to double down and say, right, our gunners are going to be in emplacements to cover this square. Uh, our native troops really want, well, our light native troops to place stakes to prevent any enemy cavalry from directly rushing the guns. Then let's start to place our infantry on the walls, ready to meet the enemy. Okay, I'm probably not going to go for go for a. Actually, I might keep my infantry guards down on the ground because they are able to form square. Yes, they are. Okay, probably don't need a. I don't don't need a full 360 degree defense. Keep my cavalry. Come on. Okay, it's a big block of cavalry, so if I start here and stretch all the way, there we go. So keep these men sort of here, behind defences, ready to engage. Uh, who are we left with? Our howitzers that are going to be over in this back corner. Stay unlimbered and get ready to start shooting. Left with a native unit. Two native units. Okay, I might put. Okay, we're not going to defend that wall. Okay, you guys sit up here. My general's left inside. Put my general in amongst the camels. You men go out of here and run. Gunners aim at the base of the wall. Good hits. Howitzers firing strong. Is anybody already in howitzer range? No, they are not. Okay, but they can switch to quick climb almost immediately. You hit the Swiss guards. So we want to try and make our breach as quick as possible because any. Just make sure, because there is no... Okay. Okay, you guys push forward and just keep firing your guns. Ultimately, if they capture this breach, we don't mind. If they capture that section of the wall, we don't mind. Everybody else has to man the guns and hold as well as possible. A good hit here, we get a good few kills, actually. Reasonable amount of kills. So we do still when we've got plenty. There are troops coming from all directions, so that breach is critically important. Especially because we do not actually have any Okay, I might okay. burst musket shots. 
are being hit. So we're hitting the Fusiliers. Grenadier, I mean, like that Swiss Guard unit going straight for the main gate. That's very dangerous. Um, skirmishers. Hold that. Uh, some of these, okay, some of these light units are going to be positioned on top of the walls. Okay, got some good hits against the Swiss Guard. Come on, you man, fire as she bears. We need to get that get that breach made rapidly. Fired short. So these African native infantry, they're doing damage against the Swiss Guards. It's probably not going to be enough. Only about 60 odd troops killed. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're starting to see some good hit against this infantry unit here. Okay, they've elected to try... Okay, they want to force this crossing here. Or this breach here. Okay, that's okay. As soon as we made our breach, these guns are going to switch to shrapnel shot and they're going to start blasting this um, area with with, with um, shrapnel shot. This... The weaker unit of how it says may start... Dropping quick climb on this area already. And this unit may try and drop quick climb through the wall. To think try and hit this would be a very much would be a good trade-off for us. Kafka native and true hit the fusiliers. Trying to scale the wall here. Okay, 91. Okay, that's the, the Pandawa broken. This unit will attack the Swiss Guard. You men attack the mercenaries coming across. 93% for the breach. Okay, let's start to slowly fold our flank companies in. You may make way. African unit push forward. Okay, that may well have actually just done more harm for me. Okay, there we go. We have our breach. Gunners, switch to shrapnel shots. Folks fire on that square. You men fire well off and actually get out because you're just going to shoot your own men. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. You're going to cross up to here. Push over to here. Oh, misfire isn't ideal. Shrapnel shots going off. We don't actually have very good coverage of this area that we want to hit. But they're quick. The shrapnel shots doing good work. Defeat these troops. If I can get these skirmishes away, they'll get into the armory here. Yeah, this is not a good position for you, man. Push forward on Curacier. Cressier attack, African native infantry attack the Hessian Jaeger. Yeah, this how this how this formation hasn't really worked. Kill them their militia. Gunners. You men man your guns. So we pushed forward into the maelstrom here a bit. Okay. Okay, good. We've broken the enemy, most of the enemy forces. Troops inside here start firing. The 
you're not actually firing in the way that we would want. Yeah, you're going to have to just storm over here and attack. Okay, light cavalry push forward. We're not getting, I mean, I know that it can be ridiculous with the bad weather in this mod for me, so for whatever reason. Stakes don't bother me, so we're not, that's not a concern. Okay, we've got good kills here. Push you men along. Cover that unit that's about to break. Keep killing the warband. Okay, we're still defending in the center. Okay, lots of units are routing. Okay, let's start to retarget how it's a fire in a minute. It's becoming a bit unpredictable and not so useful. Okay, let's get some infantry over here as well. It's McCrossier getting bogged down. E-man cease fire is off. E-man stop firing as well. Kill the fusiliers, push them back. We need to drive them away from this breach. Native my African guard infantry going down to the enemy fusiliers. Fusiliers, fusiliers, fusiliers. Okay, actual enemy reinforcements. Where are they coming in from? Oh, over here. Okay. I need to get my camels over here to hold back up the. Okay, you men get in here. Kill the enemy militia. Building last gatehouse. Yeah, we'll push through. We'll take it back from the Swiss guards. Okay, right. But you guys push through. Okay, so my guard, my infantry really have to be like this. Fire well off. No, don't shoot. Cover. Okay, get these men up on the wall as well. Okay, yeah, so you guys really have to be like this. And you guys can sit there instead in order to still be useful. Cavalry, get back up here. Native country, get up here quickly. Get my guerrilla mercenaries over here. Okay, the Lancer guards are coming in, not that we really care about them coming in. Attack the fusiliers. To the gunners. We might have to send some African infantry guards to fight up on the up on the hill here. Artillery. Just keep blasting the breach with canister shots. We have infantry mercenaries here. Good hits. Yeah, once the cavalry come in, they'll come in against the um, stakes and be defeated. Okay, 
throw these men into the fight as well. Can also bring camels over to fight as well. Yeah, the mountain guards. They're going to crash into these defences. So the cavalry is not a threat to us. You men charge up and attack the Grenadier Guards. Howitzers engage. So there's one of their gun, one of their gun teams. They could be a threat. They could open up another breach. But to be honest, we've done most of the damage that we need to do. Oh, here comes another cavalry unit. Well, they might sneak their way around. Camels fire it well off as well. Gun team, get back and man your gun. General, get back here and cover yourself. Okay, how it says start to crack down on some of these units pushing in. Excellent. Keep. Oh, hello. I'm going to try and run around with flank. You're not even firing. Blast the square with. Blast the um, breach with shrapnel shot. Got some marines and some mercenaries here, but they're not really a threat. Try to hit that Fusilier unit plus. Well, that's it. Everyone else is in a very bad way. Okay, we're going to run some some of these guys around to garrison this sec this side of the wall but they're going to go the long way around the boundary rather than across the center although you these units should probably try and retake the gate because a handful of militia might actually be able to turn the tide so let's Good, the fusiliers are going down. Retaking the gate, but you're going to still follow the same trajectory. But let's speed up time again. Say again, let's just speed up time. You're not actually firing your gun guns anymore, so that's really helpful. I say that. These mercenaries have made it into the center. There you go. Keep killing these damn mercenaries. Okay. Not many men in the firing line down here anymore. So let's maybe put my camels into the line. Hungarian fusiliers are climbing down the wall. Swiss Mountain Jaeger are coming up.
Oh, Marines are coming. Oh, late. Oh, they're going to charge the wall. Eschen Jaeger coming in. Charging straight down into the guns. Camels aren't going to open fire until very short range. Okay, you may have to try and hold them back. Go for the expats. One unit try. Go for those marines because they are the just some really scary units. So we've landed on the wall, but we haven't done the damage we wanted to do. Yeah, those marines, man, they're real scary. Those marines may win them the action. Not the case may be. Let's maybe get you guys to hit the expat infantry. These units push forward. Oh, we've repelled the marines. Let's see if we can repel one we've repelled one unit of marines. Let's see if we can repel the eight. Sharpshooters, Fusiliers, Mountain Jaeger. Yeah, the Marines are the strength. Charge forward, sirs. Hessian Jaeger coming back. Fusiliers are retreating. Okay, let's get both my howitz to destroy here, that marine unit. Let's try and kill a handful of these marines. Hit them. Everybody must hit these marines. Well, they appear to be not dying. Oh, yeah, they've come back. No, they've shattered. Oh, the Marines are going for the... The Marines are going for the wall. Excellent. The eight foot guards are still going strong, though. Sharpshooters have been hit bad. The Marines have been hit bad on the ground. Who's coming still? Horse Grenadier Guard on foot. Militia. Controversial option could be to try to destroy the wall, but I don't think that's going to work. You men hold this section, these two units get committed to defend the wall. Same with the African Infantry Guards. This 24 strong unit also gets the order. Hold the wall. Although, it appears to be what the bulk of the enemy are doing. The artillery, ceasefire. Okay, sharpshooters, marines. 
our infantry just going down real fast. Infantry guards are holding, but not 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 enough. Native African infantry guard, push, let's push up. In a way, we don't want to destroy the walls. We want them to run down here into our, albeit limited, crossfire. These fuselets are also going for the wall. Have you men halt? Hold. Gunners attack ground. New men try and engage the men up on the walls with shrapnel shot. Keep going. Hit the ground. Our troops are dying. Blasting holes in the marines. Fire at will. Nope. Okay, right. You retreated. Okay. Here they come again. Hit this corner of freedom. Make ready. Fire. Detonating too high. Come on, camel mercenaries, give them a volley. Charge them. Charge the Deutschmeister regiment. Get the cavalry in here. My general's bodyguard up here to defend the guns. So the, the gunners keep firing just directly in front of you. My cavalry. Actually, my general, get back over here. Actually, no, don't. You will have to defend the guns. The killing men directly to their front, right in the muzzle. No, they were withdrawn. Okay, right. Blasting holes in that square of the fusiliers. Camel mercenaries keep holding. Okay, the gunners. Switch your target to the center. Infantry, get back out of there. Or cav cavalry, get out of there. Camels, get up. Mercenaries, get up. Or you blast that square. You men, blast there. Mercenaries, fire it well. Slaughtering those men in front of the gate. Come on, camels, reload. Line infantry, militia, mortars are coming in. Picking them off. I'll rewrite. Wind those guns around. You okay, know, focus on the uh, 
pokes on the breach. My general has to come around, he has to get involved. Line infantry are coming in. Nope. Melee attack, don't shoot. Sure, I think the quick climb is just too close. Good kills. Reluctant to commit the general into the fight, but I kind of have to. Killed the enemy, well, we routed that enemy unit. Come on, kill that and route the militia. in front of you. Roll those guns forward. Firing into the comb black, that's going to hurt yourself just as much as me. Excellent. Charge. Charge the line infantry. Gunners, cease fire. One last volley off. No, my general fell. Although I think, effectively, as long as we can win this engagement, the gunners fire it well off. Kill the last of this regiment of foot. This could be a victory for the American forces. Now it says, boost round shot, bombard the mortars. Flicking between shaken, my guys are eager. Steady, shaken, steady. Come on, we could pull this off. What a very delicate application of shrap. Okay, right. If I pull you guys. Pull my cavalry back, keep my mercenaries in there, and keep the enemy pinned. Gunners, engage that spot. Yeah, that's got us a good hit. Another barrage. Engage the um, the area rather than. Oh no, there's another enemy militia unit. Hey, you men, withdraw, withdraw. If I can hit the mush, hit the. Oh no, one of my gun teams is bugged. Say, if you guys are going to run outside of the walls, then I'll do that. But they're staying within range of our shrapnel shot. We've got them wavering. They are broken. Charge forward. Wipe out the mortar team. Wipe out the artillery team. But that could be a win. These stakes don't affect us because they're ours. Shattered, shattered. Go kill those guys. Oh man, this, we might pull this off. Yes. Although, how it says ceasefire. 
Hopefully it's not far too late. Mortars have been killed. The horse, all these dragoons have dismounted. That's just horses. Push forward to the enemy artillery. Yes. Yes. Very close. It lost, almost lost my entire garrison to do it. Um, I think next, the next time that happens... I will probably not be so lucky, and we will lose. That deserves a celebratory drink. Mm. Yes, that's that's a bit dire, I do admit. Especially because there's so many Austrian troops everywhere. We need to... Oh, God. <laughs> we need to push through from the west. We're holding, holding them off here in the east, but that's not enough. And we're not going to be able to recruit enough to help either. We're going to be able to recruit two units a turn. So unless we're able to get relief anytime soon, um, <laughs> we're in trouble. Nevertheless, though, that opportunity to provide that relief is now happening because we are in a really strong position. Don't worry, Prussia. You're joining the scrap heap of failed nations of Europe soon. We will see to it. It would be easier if I just destroyed Spain. Just made Spain ours. Trouble is, they've become good Republicans. Yeah, the Marathas are still causing issues. We need to make sure that we just tidy up the front behind the lines. Yeah, they do they do like flanking around and causing issues. Um they'll probably chase us down, so let's see how well Basil does. Not very well. But if their fleet remains at sea, we can engage them. Ooh, they're going to attack the Spanish. Am I going to help? No, I'm not going to expose my rigs. Thank you. Or my sloops. Hmm. Uh, ooh, I probably do want to fight that to draw them into battle. Yes. Lloyd Carter. Intercept the enemy. But yeah, we're definitely at a point where I think where more often than not, if the Marathas wander within range, we want to attack them. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got lots of Maratha troops behind our lines. We do need to just tidy up our front, kill the enemy troops that are loitering behind our lines so we can advance. Uh, in a broad front, just like Eisenhower. To place any dependence on a militia is assuredly to resting upon a broken staff. Someone's never seen that patriot. Right. Let's form up our front line. We are going to storm forward. We're not going to wait for the enemy to work out what they are going to do as far as reinforcements are concerned. I mean, except for our howitzer. My foot artillery, however, is going to push up with the line. Um, actually, my heavies can be grouped together. Actually, no. Heavy and a light. Plus heavy and camel mercenary unit. Okay, so we want to really, we want to be like this do something like this then we'll, we'll work out the plan of the the plan of advance imminently right now just let my infantry form a better line then we'll work out where they go afterwards
And so if I quick line that. I was hoping they'd be really nicely in range of the reinforcement point. It is mostly a lot of um, cavalry and artillery, so we will advance on them. I just want to do it after. Yeah, because they're going to deploy some stakes, so I want to sweep forward and then methodically push towards the enemy. Twist around shot, attack the Dakani Lancers. Although they are going for my cavalry out on the flank. Yeah, the light infantry have placed their stakes, but they're well within range of practiced massed musketry, so. Suffering a bit of friendly fire there. Push the flank forward. Now going for my sea boys. Actually, get my camel mercenaries up first to blunt the charge. Sea boys and my grenadiers will be able to put volleys into the leading cavalry element. Yeah, that's defeated them. Enemy camel gunners. Light cavalry advance first. You men attack there. Oh no, hold. Those depleted by the lancers. So these men are going to. The objective of the for these men is to absorb the absorb the blow of the volley. Let my heavy cavalry go in and attack the camel gunners. My line just can stay the way it is for now. We've got them caught in a nice little crossfire. Bring my light cavalry for bring my cavalry forward. There's another enemy cavalry charge coming in. Don't care that the enemy cavalry's there. Bring them in. My light cavalry are broken. That's not so great for my Heavy cavalry who are now on their own, so. Push forward this wing. These men advance towards the enemy gunners. Bring my cavalry over towards the other flank. Okay, actually, let's tidy up this because that involved camels. I'm assuming the left flank is going to be kind of okay while I sort this out. Which it isn't. Drop into squares. Hold. Yeah, my cavalry detachment broke on the flank under overwhelming cavalry numbers. However, our squares are likely to do enough while my reinforcing cavalry come in. This company infantry has to stand firm. Cavalry general, rather. Chase down these lances. If they turn around, my general is 100% going to die. Let's just see if we can break them, or shatter them, rather. Okay, the enemy general was dead. Push my other infantry wing forward. There we go. In the face of drilled infantry, the enemy cavalry hordes are useless. Let's assume they don't come back. Okay, so 
so mount peasantry. These are all enemy artillery pieces. Which demands fought on the flank. You know dervishes, you know Bajir infantry, not worried about any of them. Even kill the last of these gunners. These merchants of death and their artillery pieces. Dervishes are advancing. You can get into line and about face. There we go. You don't like this, do you? Yeah, they're getting mowed down now. You can make ready and fire. go. Something like this. Now flank both of these threats. Slaughter them. Oh, gold pounders are mounting up. That's kind of ideal. They'll end up... Um, Dying as complete teams to our musketry when they get into position. Put another infantry unit in, just for good measure. Seek musketeers responding to being outflanked, but they are still going to die. Excellent. Then come the armed peasantry, <laughs> just to add their. Pitchfork mass to the fight. Yeah, the cavalry, the artillery is going to flee. But they are going to get mown down on the way. Doesn't matter who you aim at, you're going to be hitting something. Mighty massive troops. Go on, man, make ready. Get into line. Who's fired? You! Ding -dings. There we go. Didn't like that. There we go. Entire enemy force is broken. Just slaughter them. Okay, our cavalry is not ready to deal with the remainder. So let's let the turn complete. Nice. They've lost half their number. So this force in eastern central India is looking in a more and more precarious position. A couple of flank, couple of units around on the flank there that could cause trouble. Now the Ottomans, what will they do? Okay, I'm going to chop the recording here and... Ooh, well, no, they've got lots of individual units to move around. But yeah, this is the kind of stuff that really drags it all out. <laughs> many, many, many um, examples of the Ottomans just kind of making lots of bad decisions. So I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys, bring you guys back after the Ottoman end turn. So see you in a second, everyone. And we are back, and the uh, the new Indian Empire of Punjab has decided to declare war on us. So we will accept the, the declaration of war, and we will uh, instead elect not call any of our allies in, because Lahore is the only territory they have which is which belongs to Punjab. So yeah, you know what? we can deal with that. We so we've just researched percussion shells. Fleet destroyed. It really wasn't much of a fleet, but we can just add on. Ooh. So we do have a fleet around here, which we can probably end the turn on the attack of these forces here. Although it looks like the Spanish did 
sink a lot of their ships. First of all, let's do all of the um, construction admin stuff because looking at the timer, we're probably going to end up ending this episode. So I want to make sure I don't miss any of the um, miss any of the like notifications because we do lose them all when you open up a new game. Recruitment reported, great. Heroic death. Yes, that was a super battle though. So works on striking Bavaria. No, they're not anymore. Works on striking Württemberg. No, they're not anymore. Okay, church school in Württemberg. Okay, right. So, first things first. Hungary, you did super well. Let's get this stack of troops that was kind of the remnants of one of our other armies. Um, into the city, Randolph Shirley, replenish, and oh, we can't, oh no, the government building's damaged. Well, let's try and try and get four units of mercenaries recruited, although I do not like their chances. Although, what do we do with you? Do we put you into the star fort and you kind of form your own heroic defense? Because the star fort itself can recruit troops. Although, actually, no, I can recruit troops to the star fort. Not quite the same thing. Okay, great army. So you're replenishing. So you're going into that unit. You're, I'm sure, coming over here. Yes. Okay, so you are. Gerard Arga, you are depleted, but you are definitely going to be wanted. So you can push on towards Prague. Kohlberg, let's put a church school. And then... Roger Leverett, move you on to Turin. Hold on for that. Move you in eastward. Get ready to move on to Milan. Confident general. That was you. Wait, by the way, let's not go mad. Sort out Europe first. Okay, a lot of your recruitment chains have been broken, so I'm probably just going to group all these guys up and bring them up as one reinforcement column. This can be part of the problem about recruiting from range, because you end up, you do end up some of these units so. just forgetting where where they were going. So Ian Brent. You get up here. Yeah, you're going to go to there now. William Charlton. Okay, you need... Uh, got your cavalry. We need one heavy cavalry and a regular unit of... Oh, two units of light. Two units of infantry. That'll do the trick. Okay. Humphrey Sloper, move up towards Württemberg to allow the Württemberg army and the Riley Grinds to advance forward. Flavia Clapperton, you advance up through our allies' territory. Ernest Southerns, you're going to actually move up. Giles Henley. You're recruiting three artillery pieces, and that will see you fully replenished. Sorry. Elroy, Mallory. Let's get you down towards Italy. Start to... So we can start to push forward towards the next enemy frontier. So you're not, you're not in a position to do so, but you are. With our su super bugged army. Okay, first of all, though. Jared Colgrove. Let's attack. Actually, first of all, raid the mine. We'll get into the mine, occupy it, and then attack August. Although we're not bringing in all their reinforcements. That kind of sucks. Um, but let's do it anyway. We start... We have... 
such a massive, massive troops. We need to blow through the front line, get to Hungary. Let's start to support them. And we need to ever so slowly start surrounding the Prussians. Because they will be a future enemy, no doubt. So we need to kind of start dropping armies off around their borders. See with Hanover, really, they need to go. Right. Gunners. And put on the left. Stay here, opening up. Get our front line set up. Maintain good offensive pressure. Uh, is that bad? Is that dodgy terrain? Don't think it's dodgy terrain. Can't see any rocks. That's usually the defining defining factor. Grenadiers and skirmishers are going to push up the left. This is the mass of cavalry. Some heavies are still going to be on the right. Howitzers are going to bombard from the front. Okay. The enemy cuirassier are opening up on us. Okay, in which case we are going. They're coming. They're coming at us. So we're going to hold. Heavy horse artillery. Engage the light dragoons with round shot. These cuirassiers, they're not going to like it when they advance towards my skirmishers and grenadiers. It seems like to me, they, I'm not sure if they're going for my cavalry. They must be, but it's a very bad decision. Yeah, they've lost a lot of their number immediately. So my right flank, push forward, same with my cavalry, there you go, that's made them, made them redeploy, howitzers retarget, they've killed a bunch of their own cavalry due to the friendly fire, these like dragoons, oh yeah, I thought they were going to make it into our lines, but they did not. No, they couldn't have gone for my light infantry because they are hidden. Hey, hey, the beer's a bit of dodgy ground. I get my get my howitz, I get my foot artillery rather to engage the enemy general. Curassier wheel in to attack their Curassier. Okay, everybody form up ready. Dragoons on the left are going to be more than adequately dealt with with my two cavalry units. You've picked the wrong units to skirmish against, Buster. Especially some calling in the big guns. So they killed six of mine. I've killed seven of theirs. Curassier push forward. Skirmishes cease fire. My foot artillery engaged in Leopold chat. My sharpshooters are upset. Push forward. Combatants even, apparently. They're going to do their... Keep attacking. Don't let them get away. Watching the 
just charge the expat infantry. Let's try to knock them out. Try to get my artillery to knock out the enemy general unit. Save my howitzers. There we go. The enemy irregulars have come out to play. Very generically, just. Get everybody forward, even though I don't really want my general in here. Switch my gunners around, get everybody engaging their own targets. Shooting down my cavalry, that's okay. Don't let these dragoons get away. Don't let them get into a point where they can just shoot at us again. Something like this. My general's bodyguard to keep flanking. This is a super ugly formation. She did come around this time. Push forward. Line infantry guards. Are oh, they doing it again? Okay, let's maybe get my skirmishers just to nail, nail it through my line. Okay, attack that unit of engineers. There's only 40 of them. The cavalry appear determined to engage this infantry unit that's running along, but in a really weird way. Okay, they get then they will be shot. And you kill the last of that expat unit. Got him. Kill the last of these engineers, then we've got line infantry guards to worry about. Jaeger is still here. You men form square, horse guard. He's getting shot from all sides. The even go for the pride corps, sharpshooters go for the line infantry guards. See, they've done it again. This is a super annoying behaviour. I don't know why my guys just decide to disengage from their cavalry. To the point at which they could those cow those um skirmishes could actually kill them. Like properly win the engagement. Super damn. Should go down now. All my gunners cease fire. Damn right, we're going to continue. Those dragoons finally routed. Okay. Kill those line of guns. You kill those irregulars. And go after the Jaeger. Really, it's these two elite infantry units I want to make sure we whittle down. Only five left here. Okay, let's use it to help the pathfinding of this unit. Twelve men left. Two men left. Chomp. Cool. New men mop up. Fourth light foot. Ah, they escaped. No, nope. good victory. Good amount of kills. Nice. Lost four hundred. They lost one and a half thousand. Those are the ratios you want to see. Great. Paul Grove. Hey, ready. And you men push forward. forward. We're right up in their grill near Prague. Here in Munich. I mean, you were meant to do something, I'm sure, but I don't remember what. You push forward and just you can probably yeah, auto that engagement. Strength and honor. 
on the road to Vienna. Prague is Prague is on the is is also a target. Uh, you are short one artillery piece that's probably coming from. I don't know. It's being recruited. Probably yeah. When you see, troops of Hanover is one of the ones we need to order sixty six, right? No, they're allied with Prussia and Russia, so yeah. When that kicks off, it's going to kick off. Ready and awaiting orders. Okay. Your humble servant. Ready for orders. Cool. Let's make all of these. More orders. Still going. Okay. You can wait. Uh, then we want Daniel Wallace come out here. Okay, you got lots of uh, got a lot of heavy firsts, some seconds. We probably want some thirds like that because again, we do have a lot of enemy. Yeah, like the Aust there's an Austrian fleet here raiding. We don't really need care from a money standpoint. But we do have a fully formed fleet here in Lisbon. So let's steal a fifth rate. Ready and pick them up. We can't do that. Then what we can do let's do a test. Sell them to Rotterdam. Disembark the army. A fifth rate. Set sail. Still have plenty of movement points. Awaiting further orders. Let's embark the fleet again yes, onto a new ship. Land them off Königsberg, because they are a uh, because uh Russia is a good ally of ours. Military access works both ways, Austria. You men march on Warsaw. And then let's get this sloop back to Rotterdam. Ready, waiting order. Oh, actually, Ready full strength, order. although you want Sir. got an infantry unit and a cavalry unit, which we don't need. We'll swap out the infantry. You ask uh, we will use the Fusilier, rather. Onward, so you men and Bach Greenwich. Men. And you men will do the same thing. They will also march on Warsaw from the Baltic coast, right where the enemy does not expect them. Not the and these units here will Anything form part more? of a brand new... Uh, <laughs> we've already got one. Yes, sir. Okay, let's put you guys back into Away London. It does. It is. It does seem a lot easier just to slowly keep massing um, units in one town. Okay, let's make sure we recruit. Oh, no, skirmishes are all. They're all out of skirmishes. Oh dear. Okay, right. Let's rebuild some of this damaged industry. Make sure the infrastructure's good. You're also oh yeah, you're waiting on an artillery unit, but they can you can advance forward. I think you were meant to come here as well. March. Yes, and you were going to take these infantry units, and then that's this army fully rebuilt. Then they're going to march through. Well, we're going to march onto Vienna soon. The enemy must be suffering, suffering from war weariness. They're exempting um, their main city from tax, so they're not actually claiming anything. So they should start to be. Really, they should start. You would hope they'd start to suffer. 
um, from some form of financial challenge. Although, to be fair, I have not been raiding their ports at all. So this trading port is completely in use by the enemy. Okay, let's. We want a first rate. Recruit a brace of first rates. So we can start to recruit some more fleets. Okay, but there we go. That should start to cause them some serious financial challenges. But broadly in Europe, I mean, Austria's not. A, Prussia's not at war with Austria, so that's the reason why they're not helping us. But yeah, it looks like lots of troops are being recruited from Poland and then heading west. So ultimately, if one of these armies can take Poland, another army can go take Lviv and threaten Klausenberg, then Austria will be screwed. The top over to India. There's another army that's fully formed. Get them disembarked. We'll get them embarked, rather. Good to you now. And Ready and waiting. So you guys switch this force get into the dock disembark the army go and attack that fragment of an army yeah just glorious victory order resolve that push it north this force is quite depleted and Abraham Pitt ready for order Evan J, you could probably do with going here, and then smacking that Maratha army in the face. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet more slaughter by the Americans. Cheers everyone.